Dear Helen Clark. Dear Helen Clark. Dear Helen Clark. Dear, Dear, Dear Helen, Helen Clark. Clark. We want to speak to you about something that affects everyone in New Zealand. In fact, the issue that concerns us has become a worldwide campaign with people protesting all over the planet. Did you know mobile phone technology has not undergone any long-term product safety testing? Did you know the accumulative effect of multiple sources of wireless radiation is still not yet known? But early scientific evidence is increasingly pointing to it being dangerous to the health. Did you know that there are thousands and thousands of reports from scientists and academics that indicate that cell towers can be extremely hazardous to your health? Possible health effects include cancer, leukemia, chronic exhaustion, cell damage, nausea, nosebleeds, headaches and more. Did you know Children are likely to be far more vulnerable to the effects of phone masks because their skulls and bodies are not yet fully formed. Studies have shown they absorb more radiation than adults when using mobile phone for example. Telecom is trying to put up a 22 metre tower in my neighbourhood. We've delayed it with protests, but we cannot stop it. Not even the council can stop it. We talked to the council and this is what they said. We do sit lower down on the peaking order compared to Telecom. Telecom on this particular piece of land, and there are several of them around the city where Telecom is what's called the requiring authority, they sit higher up the tree than the council. So they essentially operate outside of our planning processes. This is because telephone companies have inherited powers from the days when they were run by the government. They have retained the rights without accepting the responsibilities. Did you know? The radiation standards that the New Zealand government uses are very dated and are based on thermal measurements, not biological ones. This means your organs literally have to cook before radiation levels are considered unsafe. But biological measurements have been tested extensively in trials around the world by very credible scientists and research bodies. And they show the health hazards are very real and very measurable, only not on the scale used by the government. It's like using a microphone to record a sunset. It just doesn't make sense. Did you know New Zealand sets its standards based on the World Health Organization guidelines, but those standards are written by people who have worked for the telecommunications industry? How can this be fair? Surely this is a dangerous conflict of interest. Did you know other countries make huge amounts of money from the sale and construction of phone masts? In Britain alone, the government made £22 billion from the sale of permits for new phone masts. Did you know telecommunications companies are second only to oil companies as the richest corporations on the planet? Did you know many other countries even China have much stricter controls than we do. Here are just some of the countries that have safer levels of emissions than New Zealand. Taiwan, Austria, China, Australia, Israel, Sweden, Italy, Russia, Switzerland. Did you know? The safe emission levels of other countries are from 100 to 4,500 times lower than New Zealand's. Did you know? Phone companies can't afford to acknowledge that their products may cause harm, as this would open them to multi-million dollar lawsuits.
Did you know? At this moment, there is nothing you can do to stop a powerful phone mask that emits unknown and unsafe levels of radiation being put up right next to your house, over your children's bedrooms, in your street. Did you know? Things are getting worse for everyday New Zealanders when it comes to being protected from big business interests. The National Environment Standards proposed in February this year mean that from late 2008, communities and citizens will have no legal right whatsoever to even have a say as to where new telecommunications equipment is put. Did you know? Not only are the towers ugly, but real estate agents say their property prices can go down by anything from 5 to 20% in areas with new phone masks. In some countries like the UK, house prices have dropped 50% where the phone mask goes up nearby. People are starting to wake up to this situation and we're getting angry. We're finally realising that the real issues have been buried under a lot of technical smoke screens, inside of politics and a love of profit and business over people. Did you know? Many insurance companies are already refusing to cover health effects from cell phone towers. They recognise the huge risks, yet our government is prepared to take a gamble with our health. The law doesn't require corporations to protect public interests. Their main focus is profit for their shareholders. We elected you to protect our people and our land. Dear Helen Clark, we're humans, not consumers. Our health is more important than any product or service. Are you listening? Who will protect citizens and communities if it's not the government? Dear Helen Clark, If you do know all this, why aren't you doing something to help us to protect our lives, our children and our homes from big business agendas? If you don't know, why not? We ask you, please, take a stand for New Zealand. Let us lead the world. Put our people before big business. Dear Helen Clark. Dear Helen Clark. Dear Helen Clark. Change the laws. Change the laws. Change the laws. Change the laws. Protect our children at the very least. Change the laws. Protect our children at the very least. Change the laws. Protect our children at the very least. Please help us. You're our only hope. Are you listening?